Hello, everybody. Okay, fight of the night was Mendez and Volkanovski. And then uh, the performance of the night went to Amanda Nunez and Ryan Hall. They all won $50,000, congrats. If I could ask you a couple about Amanda, do you feel like you know beating Valentina, beating uh, Ronda, beating Misha Tate, and now beating Chris? She's the best ever. She's the best ever? How, how can you deny it? You can't deny that she's the best ever. That's what this fight was for. You know, this fight was to find out. But if you look at her resume and who she's beat, she's the best ever. You can't, no, nobody can dispute that. You can try and you can say some stupid shit, but she's the best ever. She looked damn good tonight. She looked strong. Not only was she dropping bombs, she was taking big shots too and walking right through them like it was nothing. John Jones' future depends on a lot of different drug testing. This guy needs to keep passing drug tests. He needs to stay clean, stay straight. Keep training, stay in the gym, keep winning, and uh, this guy can completely turn his life around. Okay, so what would happen if he didn't pass a test after tonight? I'm, I'm gonna kill myself. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't want that to happen. Well, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Some other people in here would. <laughs> Chris Cyborg is going to her final contract, uh, final fight on her contract now. Is, is a rematch, does that make sense? She hasn't, she hasn't lost since 2005. Do you, do you go right back to Cyborg Nunez too? I don't think you do. No? No, I mean, you know, it's a pretty convincing win. Sure. Well, John, a uh, hey guys. dominant victory for you this evening, just the way you said you wanted to do it. Um, seemed much easier than the first time around. Yeah. G give me an idea. What was, you seemed very patient to start out with, but what was the, the biggest key to, the, to your performance tonight? Um, my dad said something interesting to me before he left the hotel room. He said, uh, he said, don't chase Gustafson tonight. People cheered last time whenever he would run away from me. And he said, don't chase him. Do not chase him, you know. And, and that really rung in my head in the locker room and things like that. Um, and so I, I changed it up and I did the running. I did the backing away. Um, and it worked out. It worked out. I got to display my footwork. Tonight he was kind of plotty marching forward the whole time. He kept saying he wanted to put pressure on me. Um, and, and I backed up and I made sure I scored points. And I kept him guessing, level changes, and actual shots, kicks and punches. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I think maybe his, aggress his aggression worked against him. I'm curious because you said, DC, I've, I've got this belt, come get it. Yeah. Is there something that wouldn't be more satisfying about maybe moving up to heavyweight and taking the belt that he has there? No, you know. When it comes to Daniel Cormier, he's always quiet unless he's speaking out to discredit me and my legacy, my achievements. I'm not going to go to heavyweight and try to take everything from him and destroy his legacy and all that type of stuff. Is it possible that I could do that? It is possible. But I'm fine having mine and he can have his. DC needs to admit to the people that he was never the light heavyweight champion or face me at light heavyweight and shut me up. You and Alex had a little bit of a, a moment there after the fight. W yep. What did you guys say to each other? Uh, Alex said, man, you are really good and really strong. I said, thank you, Alex. I said, thank you for being such a great opponent. And I said, we're both only 31. And you know we're going to be fighting again. And he said, yeah, we're going to be fighting again. And I said, darn it. <laughs> I believe Alexander will beat most guys in the division. Um, but I'm here to stay. I believe that this is my era. And, and I'm gonna own it for many years to come. I feel like I feel like uh, losing my mom and and uh, and having the belt stripped from me and what I believe, you know, it was, you know, I was innocent throughout this whole thing. I felt like nothing that this sport can throw at me, no opponent can hit me as hard as life hit me this summer. I know in my heart that I've never cheated this sport. I've said it through the beginning. It literally almost drove me crazy this summer to be accused of being a steroid cheat. And uh, that's why I will spend every dollar, I will face every jury, I will take every polygraph test to prove that I have never intentionally cheated this sport. Um, do you consider in the future going in a heavyweight? Yeah, eventually. Eventually I'll go heavyweight. I think I'll start entertaining the idea of taking uh, what, it's, what super fights against the perfect opponents. Yeah.
I'm only 31 years old and I'm still getting better. My team is getting smarter. We're getting stronger as a unit. And I think that should be really, uh, that's gonna be scary for a lot of people. Dana White, uh, tell me why are we still having this guy here instead of seeing a two year suspension like Frank what? Mir? What? Sit down. I'm sitting down. Well, I want to take you. the mic from her. Better questions, better I journalism. Wanna, I, don't, I don't understand what your question is. What, is what, there a what's real the reason? Better journalism. Better journalism. You saw it. Sister here uh, with the camera. I was extremely disrespectful to you. I'm so sorry for disrespecting you. Alex, I know it's a, a disappointing night for you and it's still fresh, but I mean, considering how long you, you built up to this moment, uh, what, what is the feeling like for you right now? I'm disappointed, very disappointed, but uh, it's a sport and it's a fight, so we did our best there in, the, uh, in, in the octagon and, and this was the outcome, so I just have to, I just have to take it, take it like a man. Couldn't help but notice the limp on the way up. Uh, update us on your condition. What what happened? When did that injury occur? No, I just uh, I just I just hurt my groin in there, and you know, John he, he knew exactly what to do to stop my footwork and and stop my my movement and my my, my flow, you know, my, my my distance, and so he just made sure I, I couldn't move anymore. <laughs> that was it. It took me down, and I couldn't get up, and yeah, that was it. Feel different being in there with John this time compared no, to your first fight? No, 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 not at all. I, he he got me very, very early in the first round, and after that, I just sh I just shut down. You know, I wasn't I wasn't tired. I, you know, I, I I had my conditioning in. I felt good. I felt good, and and uh, we had our exchanges and everything. But just just he just sh shut me down very early in the first round, and that was it. And I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't move at all. Well, man, that was. Quite the scene inside the arena tonight. It was a pretty special moment. I imagine you're still pretty, pretty riled up after that. But what is the emotion right now? What, what are you feeling? Uh, very happy, you know. It's the moment that I waited for my whole life. Make history. Tonight I did it once again. I'm very happy. Did you know that you could go in and, and go in a firefight and just stand in the pocket with Cyborg, who most people thought that was impossible. Did you know you could win that kind of fight? Yeah, you know, I, I say in my, all my interviews, I train in the gym with all those guys in the America top team. Like, I still move forward when got hate for those guys. I know she not be able to knock me out. I know. And I was so ready, so ready tonight. Nothing's gonna stop me to do whatever, what I want to do tonight. And when she connects me, couple punch, I say like, oh, I'm gonna walk it for now. And she's strong, she's powerful. She's a great, always a great champion. I respect Chris a lot, but tonight I knew it's gonna be my night. I knew I'm gonna be the one, you know, and happy, I'm very happy. Uh, of course I had my heart broke, but I didn't cry. I didn't cry, I'm, I'm not gonna cry because I did everything. I trained really hard. And if today is the day, the Amanda day, and she did it her best and she's the one, you know, and I just gonna go back to my gym and train harder and come back. Chris, can you talk about, I know it's tough, but can you talk about just how special Amanda was tonight? What, what separates her from you? Uh, everybody say, oh, because then I'd say, oh, who's the to tonight? You're gonna be the greatest. You know, Amanda, okay, she's won today, but she had four lost, and then, you know, I have two lost. How she can be the greatest? Did anybody tell you why you didn't get a chance to talk in the cage? Did you ask Dana? Did you ask Joe Rogan? Do you know what no, happened? No, they just me kicked me out of the cage. I think very bad, very disrespectful, because I did a lot for sport, and, and I was supposed to say hello for my fans. And I just feel like I supposed to say something. You haven't lost a fight in 13 years. Uh, will you seek a rematch uh, against Nunes? Of course, of course. I can rematch any time. Don't know I want to put together. You know, uh, I, I I love fight, and this has put more fire in my heart. Continue fight. When you stand up your feet after you fall, you are the champion. And this is I try to show all my fans because I know everybody have a hard time. Thanks, Chris. Thank you, guys. Have a good, have a happy new year for everybody.